Marley Matlin came to realize there was one downside to starring in the Sundance Film Festival runaway hit Coda with a groundbreaking ensemble of predominantly deaf actors, now in theaters and on Apple TV+. Her on-screen husband, played by Troy Kotzer, was so wickedly surprising in American Sign Language Improvisation, Matlin feared Shed burst into laughter in a scene when the frisky couple visited a doctor for a shared painful condition. Troy is a master of sign language improv. So I told him, look no surprises, please. I didn't want to lose it during a take, Matlin, 55, says, signing over a Zoom call through her longtime sign language interpreter, Jack Jason. The scene was written that Troy would have to describe Jock Itch. But how he described it, that was all Troy. Twice in the doctor's office, I lost it, Matlin says. She dropped her no improv request because Kotsur's hilarious, unpredictable ASL scenes were precisely why the authentic casting in Coda was so exceptional. In my 35-year career, I've never had deaf co-stars in leading roles that carry the film equally as me, she says. This is a very special movie. Madeline's co-stars, deaf and hearing, give standout performances. Madeline, who lost her hearing due to illness at 18 months old, has experienced a number of Hollywood breakthrough moments as the only deaf actor to win an Academy Award, playing a rebellious student in 1986's Children of a Lesser God. The activist actor has moved from project to project in her nearly four-decade career, garnering roles and Emmy nominations for Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, 2004, The Practice, 2000, and even as the lip reader on Seinfeld, 1994. Matlin later emerged as the first deaf participant on season 6 of Dancing with the Stars. I've had wonderful experiences and collaborations, Madeline says. But I've always been looking for a project like this. When writer-director Sean Heater approached the actress with her screenplay about a deaf Gloucester, Massachusetts, family with a hearing teenager Ruby, the child of deaf adults, CODA, Madeline not only signed on for the role of Mother Jackie, she became an in-the-trenches collaborator with Heater. I remember sitting down with Marley at her first breakfast and she said, I haven't wanted to do a movie this bad since Children of a Lesser God, Heater says. I could just see her passion for the character. And I think she could see in me, my determination to do justice to this family and this culture. One of Madeline's first acts was to squash a studio-inspired push to have a famous hearing actor take on the role of Jackie's husband, Troy. I put my foot down and said, if you do, I'm just out, that's it. I can't see any actor putting on the costume of being deaf. We are not costumes to put on, not any longer, Madeline says. I've seen so many times in this industry where hearing actors take on the role of deaf characters. We've had enough of that. It's time for myself and other deaf actors to be able to speak up and say, enough is enough. We are here. Our talents are valid. Kotzer, a longtime member of the National Theatre of the Deaf, grew out an unkempt beard to play the role of Jackie's lobster fisherman husband. Danny Elder had earned the 
role of the couple's oldest hottie son, Leo, and British newcomer Amelia Jones landed the hearing role of Ruby, who makes family waves by pursuing a singing scholarship. Even with the swelling drama, Coda provides John Hughes-like insight and humor into this particular family's home life. High schooler Ruby is often ashamed of her highly amorous deaf parents, who loudly make love thinking no one is home, and Jackie's wild outfits. It was fun to bring the humor out, Madeline says. But it's extra special because this movie highlights authentic representation of characters and shows what might typically happen in deaf people's lives, how they live, how they work. All deaf people are not the same. This film is just a slice of life of the deaf community. The mom embarrassment rings true on screen, but not in Madeline's real life with her four grown children ages 17 to 25, and her husband of more than 25 years, Kevin Grandalski, a police officer. I am the coolest mom on earth, I have to say, Madeline says. I pick up their stuff. I cook for them. I give them money through Venmo. I think my children enjoyed watching me play a character so different from me. The actress is excited and nervous to see how the public views Coda after the critically lauded film swept the 2021 Sundance Film Festival Awards. It arrives as needed breakthroughs in deaf casting, and stories continue in Hollywood from the Oscar-winning 2019 drama Sound of Metal to the casting of deaf actor Lauren Ridloff as Marvel's first deaf superhero in Chloe Zhao's The Eternals, out November 5th. I don't know why it's taken so long, but I've witnessed a change and am thrilled, Madeline says. I want to see us get to the point where deaf actors can carry a film, or a series. Not relegated to the background, like we've ticked this box. The activist will keep clamoring for progress even beyond CODA. I tell my friends, if you want to affect change, you have to make noise, you have to hustle, you have to collaborate, Madeline says. No one said that Hollywood is an easy place to get work, whether you're deaf or not. But it's doable. We have so many stories to tell, so many stories to share that are beautiful.